Hi, please like our videos and subscribe to our channel and make sure you click on a bell and switch on all notifications so you are notified when we are uploading new videos, which we are doing every day. So in order to get the menu from our Firebase, um, what we are going to do is to create a listener object. So what this object is going to do is basically get all the information from Firebase and provide it to us. And if you are not familiar how the data is passed from one view to another view in uh, Swift UI, there are three different types here. And uh, in our case, uh, we are going to use the observable object. So this is the, the best that suits in our case. So um, what I'm going to do is to create a new file, um, which is going to be a Swift file. And this is going to be called drink listener. And let's just right click here and group this one into Firebase listeners. Okay. So in our drink listener, what we want to do here first, import our Firebase. Then we are going to create a class, call it drink listener. And this is going to be conforming to a protocol of observable object. So the observable object comes from Swift UI that Whoever confirms to this protocol can publish some kind of information and then another view can receive this information, whoever is listening. So what we want to publish from this drink listener is all the drinks, in our case, our menu items. So once this class downloads all the menu items, it wants to publish it so that other uh, views can listen and get this information. So that's where comes the observable object protocol. So in order for uh, for this to tell what we want to publish, we just say at published. And then we say var and you can call these drinks. And we're going to tell that this is going to be an array of drink. And it's going to be an empty array now. So we are going to publish all the drinks. And then we have an initializer in where we are going to call a function called download drinks. So let's call create this function. Okay, and here I'm going to call this. So as soon as we initialize our drink listener, it's going to go and download the drinks. And then it's going to be publishing its as soon as you set the variable here, the Swift UI gets some kind of update in background. So whoever is listening for this, they will be updated that something has changed in drinks array. And based on that, the user interface of the application will be updated. So in order to download our drinks, remember here we have a let me just close the canvas. We are not going to need it. Here we have a function that saves something to our Firebase. And now we need to access to the, the same location to get it from Firebase. And remember, when we saved it to Firebase, we save it as a key value pairs, string, any, as a values. So now what we need to do is to get whatever is in that specific location in our Firebase, and then we need to convert it back to a drink object because here we are returning an array of drink objects. So let's go to our Firebase reference. And we want to access the menu. Once we access the menu, we want to get all the documents. So we say get documents. And this basically gets everything from our menu department.
menu folder and just by hitting enter it will give you a query snapshot and error variable so i'm going to call my uh, snapshot uh, snapshot this is just the name of variable you can call anything you want just make sure it has some meaning and error i'm going to call error um, we want to make sure that our we actually received something back from our firebase so what we are going to put a guard here uh, we say let snap shot equals and this is just a variable we just created and we're going to check if it equals this so this thing if this has some kind of value else we just say return which basically exits the function and doesn't go through um, if we have a snapshot we want to check if it's empty or not so we say if and say snapshot is empty and I will put the exclamatory mark here which means if it's not empty we are going to do something here if it's empty we're not going to do anything so if it's not empty um, we are going to take the item that we have received which is our snapshot data and remember this snapshot contains all the strings in our menu so this is an array of string value pairs in order to convert this into a array of drinks which we want to actually pass to our listeners we need another helper function here so under my download function i'm going to create a static func drink from dictionary and this is going to take a snapshot which is a type of uh, query snapshot this is what we receive from our firebase and what we're going to return an array of drink item all right so uh, if we go to top here here we can now say self dot drinks which is the variable we are publishing here this is going to be equal and then i'm going to access my drink listener which is my current drink listener dot and then we access our new function that we created say drink from dictionary and now i can pass my snapshot here because we check that it exists and we check that it's not empty so we pass our snapshot here now for this function here of course it complains because we promised it to return an array of drinks and we haven't returned anything so for us uh, for a function to work we're going to create a variable called this all drinks and this is going to be an array of drink items and we are going to initialize it with an empty array then um, what we are going to do is to go through the snapshot key value pairs and for every key value uh, every document let's go to our firebase so you have better uh, understanding so we are going to go through all these things here and each one each document looks like this key value pairs we want to take each document here and convert it to a drink object so i'm going to use a for loop here for snapshot in and then we say snapshot dot documents and you can see that snapshot documents this is part of firebase actually uh, it has an array of query document snapshot which is basically this is the document snapshot here as we can see visually so um, once we get the specific snapshot from these documents we want to um, create a drink uh, data so we say let drink data is equals and we get the snapshot dot data which is a string value pair array so once we have this drink data from our snapshot it's pretty easy to create a drink object so we say all 
strings which is our array here is uh, it's an array and we can say append and what we're going to append is a new drink object and how we create a drink object is just say drink open close uh, parenthesis and it will give us a drink object so the id uh, is going to be our drink data and here comes uh, the key value pairs remember when we saved it we used our constants uh, to have the keys and now it's a good time to reuse them to get our values from that keys so the drink uh, the id is going to be our drink data and the key is going to be kid and since it's an optional we are going to give it a default value uh, no not a we are not going to force unwrap it we are going to say it's a string and since it's an optional in case if the string id is empty we want to give a default value so our application doesn't crash in my case i'm going to create a uuid and pass the uuid string here then we have the name again we are uh, access our string data and the key is k name and this is an optional as well uh, so it's a string but in case if there is no value let's just put unknown here uh, so that the name of our drink will be unknown again not to crash our application uh, same goes to our image name we say drink data k image name as a string and an optional string or is going to be again unknown the category uh, here is a bit tricky because we are saving a string and our category is actually an enum so what we're going to do is to create a category from the value that we have saved in our firebase so you can see here under category we have just called and here we under our drink we need to have a category in so here i'm going to create a category um, and my category i'm going to create from row value and row value will be a string as you can see here so since we are receiving a string from firebase we can provide it here which is drink data k category And this is as string as you remember it's an optional so we can give it a default let's by default say it's called so to not crash our application and we have two more things here uh, all right and here in case if there is no category I will just return that called even if after this it doesn't create a category we set the default category to be called and then we go to description we say drink data k description and again it's an optional string or uh, we just put uh, a script is missing so this will be our default um, value if there is no description and finally the price is drink data k price and this is optional as double and if there is no value we will put the price to be zero and then at the end we are going to just put uh, close the brace here mm not here uh, it's closed so the for loop finishes once the for loop finishes we're going to return our all drinks array so we have an empty array and if there is nothing here we're going to return an empty array but if there is a snapshot we're going to go through all the items in our menu 
um, create a drink object here and append it straight to our array. This would be like the same if I say like let drink item equals and then if I cut this out and put it here and then append drink item. But what we are doing is just uh, instead of creating a drink item, we put it straight inside our uh, initializer. So this is uh, saving some space. Let me just command Z here. So we have everything ready. Um, what we can do now is go to our home view and in top here we want to tell our home view that we are going to observe some kind of variable so we say at observing observed object var and then we create a data listener which is going to be equal to drink listener and we're going to initialize it so the data listener here actually let's uh, call this drink listener all right so once we have this let's see drink listener let's see command p why it's complaining Ah, observable object. It should be observed object. Because this object uh, we are going to observe from our drink listener actually. So once we have this um, drink listener, I can put instead of my uh, drink data here, we can access our drink listener dot drinks. Because remember, there is an array of drinks. So if I actually open my canvas now and resume, we shouldn't see any change because we are getting exact same menu from our Firebase. So the visual interface is going to be exactly the same. Just the difference is we are getting it from our Firebase and not locally. So it may take some time to download it. Um, maybe we need to run on the simulator here yeah we need to actually run this on simulator so let's get rid of the canvas and let's open our simulator here and as you can see it gets everything from our drinks here all right um we we have a way to download our drinks to show it to our user the next thing what we are going to do is every time user clicks on our uh, drink object, we are going to open a new view and show the user with uh, the drink detail, basically. 